recently I went to Columbus State University and did a um, class for the bassoonists there on finishing reed techniques. And my friends at Columbus State University were very interested on ways to darken a bright reed so that we can all get that warm, rich sound, especially straight out of the gate after we have made a blank. So, in honor of my friends at Columbus State University, here are my top three ways to darken a reed. Okay, so here is one of my reeds that is relatively new, um, basically almost a blank. Um, and let's talk about some of the things that I do to them when I first clip the tip so that I can be sure that I have something that right out of the gate I can start playing on, but I don't feel like, let's just be honest, a saxophone because no bassoonist wants to sound like a saxophone. And reeds, when you first clip the tip, do have a tendency to be bright. Okay, so the first thing I do is make sure that the first and the second wire when I wrap the reed are as far apart as I dare. The second wire, I have a tendency to move up and then back down based on how bright I want the reed. I know when I clip the tip of the reed that the reed is going to be relatively bright. So when I wrap a reed, I make sure that I wrap the reed at the nine millimeter distance. The further the two wires are, the first and the second are apart, the darker the reed. That way I'm guaranteed that the first initial sounds that I will get out of the reed will be darker, but then as it breaks in, I can get a brighter sound if I'm interested in that. Okay, the second thing that I do to make sure that the reeds are not too bright straight out of the gate is a little bit of flexing of the tip and then pinching down the sides. Now I do have to say you don't want to do this when the reed is dry because you do have the tendency if you overdo it or if you do this when the reed is completely dry, you can crack the tip. So a little bit of a warning there that goes with it. That being said, this is one of the best tips and tricks that I was ever taught by my teachers. In essence, it will also help the E if it's sinking, you know it's a little unstable when you first put a tip on a reed, this can stop that from happening. I flex the tip together pull the tip apart, flex the tip together, pull the tip apart. And then after I do that about three times, I pinch, 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 all the way down the reed. This is going to give it that little bit like it's been played a little bit and it will take that brightness out of the reed so that you can start breaking it in and still feel good about the sound because we all want to feel good when we play and you're only as good as your read. So this is a great tactic to do to an early on blank so that you can make it through that beginning stages and then as it darkens up as you play it in, you won't need to do this as much. The third key way that I darken up the read and this is only if it needs it, but it works throughout, even at the very beginning when I clip the tip, but all the way up to finishing a read, um, the very last stages. What I do is I take a piece of 400 grit sandpaper and the read, and then I fold that small piece of 400 grit sandpaper in half, and then I slide that directly in between the two blades. Slip that inside the read, pinch the reed closed, and pull the sandpaper out. In short, it's a form of hand gouging after the reed has been formed. This also helps remove some of those pithy fibers that will come to the surface. If your reed is feeling very, uh, when you play it, very uh, gritty, if you take off some of those pithy fibers on the outside, then it's gonna be smooth again and that will also affect the sound, but those same pithy fibers can come out on the inside of the reed. And by taking just a little three keystrokes, no more than that, you can easily darken up the sound. Okay, this is my top three ways to help you create a darker reed with minimal adjustment. 
I hope you enjoyed this. If you want to make sure that you never miss any of my other tips or tricks for bassoon, make sure that you subscribe. And if you liked this video and want to see more reed making helpful videos, be sure that you give this a thumbs up so I know what to film. I will see you guys next time. Bye! It's got that new tripod smell. Because that smells like... Ew. It smells bad. <laughs>